And thanks for joining us. We begin tonight in Grant County, where prosecutors will seek life in prison for a woman now officially charged with killing her stepdaughter. Prosecutors say Amanda Carmack uh, confessed to killing 10 year old Skyly following a fight over a, sto a stolen charm bracelet. Wish TV's Aliyah Hodges is live in Grant County at the jailhouse there with more tonight. Aliyah. Well, Mike, Amanda Carmack faces some pretty hefty charges, murder, strangulation, neglect, domestic battery. Now, she remains in the county jail without bond, but these court documents here reveal a lot of details on how she treated Skyly and the six other children she lived with. Gruesome details released today about the moments leading up to young Skyly's death on August 31st. Court documents state Amanda Carmack discovered Skyly had stolen a charm bracelet from one of the six kids in the home earlier that day. The stepmother told investigators she couldn't find Skyly that evening. The next day, investigators interviewed the six children. According to court documents, the children said Amanda Carmack was a strict disciplinarian. They told investigators they were forced to stand with their face against the wall, with their hands in the air, when they got in trouble. The children also said Skyly was confined to her room for the last week and a half. It's heartbreaking. And no, no, no kid should have to deal, deal with that or be taken out of this world. In the manner that she was taken out in, it's words really can't explain it. Just two days ago, investigators say the stepmother went to Gas City Police in tears and admitted to the 10-year-old's murder. The court documents state the suspect does not remember all of the details, but recalls being on top of Skyly, choking her with her hands before tying something around her neck. Parents say the details have been traumatizing for kids as they see the memorial for Skyly every day while on the school bus. My son asked me uh, yesterday after I picked him up from football, he said, was that little girl found in the shed? And I said, where'd you hear that? And he goes, well, I heard it at school. Many people say it gives them a bit of peace that Amanda Carmack remains behind bars, but wish they seen the signs of abuse sooner. I feel like as a neighbor, it's my responsibility to pay attention more. And I just, I didn't see anything. And I felt, I felt terrible. Again, the prosecutor is trying to seek life sentence without parole for Carmack. Her initial hearing has not been set at this time. Reporting in Marion, I'm Amelia Hodges, Wish TV News 8.